What's good Vacation Vibes fans and welcome back to the channel. I am Vanessa from the future and um, I needed to hop into this video and kind of preface some things before we get started. Originally this video was being shot to be a airport hack plus what I do the day before a cruise in Miami. But just as soon as this video started, everything completely started to fall apart. So now this video is why you shouldn't fly in the same day that your cruise leaves. Let me start by saying this flight was not the same day that our cruise left. Thank God it was not because if it was, we would have been up the creek without a paddle and you would have never gotten the cruise hater series. So we back up in time to show you how this day went. Let's start here. Good morning vacation vibes peeps. It is 5 11 a.m. and I am headed to the airport. I'm gonna take you guys along with me on my day before the cruise situation. So um, we're up together super early. I also wanna show you all the ways I save money getting to the cruise because the last thing I wanna do is spend all my money before I get on the vacation, right? So it starts now. We're headed to the airport. Um, we are in our own vehicle. We are not Ubering. We are saving money by parking at the airport. So here's your first hack of the day. We're starting off quick. Um, a lot of times there are satellite parking lots, not the parking lot at the airport where they charge you like $25 a day. And you can reserve a spot for as long as you're gone. Um, in this instance, I believe it was like $5 a day um, with tax and everything. I, came, I think it came out to like $35 for the whole week to park at the airport. So from my house to Hartfield Jackson, one Uber, minimum $50. So we're saving ourselves at least $65 for the round trip, at least. And the trip home is always way more expensive from the airport. Um, I'm talking like around 80 bucks for me to get home from the airport, so we're saving a lot of money here. Let's uh, roll ourselves that way. Um, they pulled up right to the car, which is nice. So we had a 7.30 a.m. flight out of Atlanta to land in Fort Lauderdale at 9.30. We got to the airport at 5.30, two hours before, um, to check in our bags and head to our gate. Somehow though, even though we were two hours early and TSA took about 20 minutes to get through, we missed our flight. All right, y'all, so I'm in the car. I am not in an Uber in Florida though. I am in Adasia's car. Say hey, girl. Hey, y'all, look at Ben's head. <laughs> Um, she had to come pick us up from the airport and take us to her house, which is located in Atlanta because we oh, we missed our flight um, due to JetBlue um, having technical difficulties at the desk. We literally missed our flight by minutes. The, the jet was still sitting there, had and taxied away. Um, and uh, I think about 10 people couldn't get into our flight. Um, and then there was another flight to New York where multiple people missed that flight as well. They left, that flight left 15 minutes before us. Um, we stood at the desk trying to just get tax for our bags. That's it. We were able to use the kiosk to check in, but for some reason the kiosk wouldn't let us print our bag tags. So anybody who was checking a bag missed the flight this morning. So we had to rebook. Currently we have a flight to Miami for six o'clock lands at 8 20 so our entire day i've been trying to film what i do in miami the day before a cruise the last two cruises and for some reason just won't work out so um we're gonna get to our hotel tonight hopefully we can do something but before we even get to the hotel we then have to get an uber to fort lauderdale's airport to get our bags um yeah the round trip uber is probably gonna be about 70 dollars to get our bags so um i'm working right now to get a refund 
and um also like talk to them about giving y'all the credit for having to do all of this like ubers and stuff like you should talk to yeah them. I'm, I'm talking to them right now they in the little chat so we're gonna see if we can we can try to get um something from JetBlue because this is completely their fault. Once we got back to Deja's house, I was on the phone trying to find us different flights into Miami and we ended up finding somebody who could help us out. So we had to head back to the airport um, about an hour later to try to catch a new flight. Thank you. Alright you guys. Have fun. Have these Thank you, girl. You're welcome. I love you, babe. Okay. <laughs> so we had a connecting flight from Atlanta to Charlotte, and they were both standbys. All right, so update. We might potentially have a flight leaving at 12.53. We have about 49 minutes till they start boarding, um, but we're on standby, so we're gonna try to get on this flight. There's a connecting flight in Charlotte, so we'll have to do two standbys to try to get there. So, fingers crossed that we make this flight. If we don't, we have one more option. So, we're just being patient. Being patient. Now, this video has gone left, but I do wanna take a moment to stop here and tell you about um, another money-saving tip that I use in this trip really quick. This is takeoff luggage. It is a personal item size carry-on um, that you can pop the wheels off of and it turns into a personal size bag, which makes it free on the airlines that charge you for your carry-on bag. So if you are trying to travel on a tight budget, do not spend the extra 45, 50, 60 dollars on a carry-on. Grab you a takeoff luggage, pop those wheels off, put it under the seat, and you are now flying way more free than you were before. If you are interested in takeoff luggage, go to takeoffluggage.com and use my code VIBES20 for 10% off your purchase. We finally have secured a boarding pass. <laughs> we're so relieved. All right, so we are in line to board. They just called our group. We have to fly to Charlotte and then we have a connecting flight. He does that small good. We, guys, listen to this. We went to go book another flight on American Airlines. Christina has a friend who has a friend who works Is that with American Airlines, put us on their buddy pass so that we paid a discount to get on this one. We're able to refund the $400 ticket, $400 tickets we had to buy this morning and we're making it. So we make it to Charlotte. We should be good on that standby line as well. There's plenty of seats open and then we'll be on the way to Miami. I'm about to just <sighs> run with this on into the ocean. <laughs> can't, I can't wait to get there because I really need vacation now after this and day. Four or five. Yeah. Six. Or ten. Ten. <laughs> Okay, we have two hours to spend in Charlotte. There is a random deer behind me. I don't know why, but there's also a place that serves tequila. And I think that's what's going to help the situation today. Um, there's also a long line. So I feel like a lot of people also need some medicinal tequila. Might help. <laughs> um, I just wanna say the food at this restaurant was so nasty. Um, it was really bad and it really just like put like an exclamation point on how bad of a day we have been having. Um, I'm trying to keep like a good disposition, but I'm really, really, really stressed out at this point because I'm scared we're not gonna make this flight. <laughs> but we do, we get off the standby list by the skin of our teeth, literally the last two people on the list and we make it into Fort Lauderdale. Uber drops us off at our hotel at about 8.30 at night. We literally drop our bags and run to the ocean and we're just like, ugh, we made it. So we finally made it to Miami. We made it to our hotel at about eight o'clock. 
What we wanted to do this morning was drop our bags and run to the ocean, so that's what we did tonight. <laughs> we dropped our bags and ran to the ocean. After making it into Miami, the thing that we wanted to do was just get some food. We hadn't had any good food all day. We barely had any water. Just ate something really quick and pretty much unwound. This restaurant was called Chloe's and it was at the bottom of the Marseilles Hotel on Collins Avenue and it was so good. Now here is the lesson. If this would have happened, if we had been flying in the morning before a cruise, we could have made it in had the flight gone to plan at 9.30 and been there in time to check in and head out for a fun vacation. But this is exactly why you do not uh, plan to fly in the day of your cruise because you have no idea what's gonna happen. I did every good strategy in the book. I booked the very first flight out of Atlanta that morning so that um, in just in case I need to switch flights, I have every other option throughout the day to um, switch flights. I also just wanted as much time as possible in Miami. Um, we had a bunch of plans that we couldn't do because we missed the entire day there. We did miss out on some things that we paid for that we couldn't do. Um, I did call the airline to see if we can get some vouchers or reimbursement for that. They said no. They said the only thing that would happen had I had we missed our uh, our cruise, they would have then flown us to the next port so that we can get on our cruise from there. So there's a tip: if you do miss your um, your ship. Can bring this up to the airport or to the airline that brought you in if they bring you in late and they actually can provide transportation to get you to the next um, port that your cruise is going to so that you can actually get on your, uh, your cruise from there. Didn't know that. That's what I was told at JetBlue. Um, guys, I this is a really short story time but I hope this really drove from the point um, that just how important it is to make sure you give yourself some time, at least the night before, to get into your um, cruise port terminal um, so that you are not up to the field at all. This is a very expensive detour as well, so you always want to make sure that you have travel insurance. And also something that um, I always do with flights is I pay the little extra $19, $20 um to get a to get refund for cancellations or things outside of my control um uh, or even if i decide to, to cancel i can still cancel and get my money back so checking yes to, to those boxes sometimes especially if it's a high stakes vacation can really 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 save you some money next time on vacation vibes i take you to the cheapest hotel in south beach and it might quite possibly be the hotel from hell i'll see you next week Bye bye now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, 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 so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Oh, 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 so give me, so give me your all.